Hello everyone. It's James again. And before I start today's video. I just want to quickly say. All work in this video contains 100% original content of and by myself James Smith, otherwise known as Bigood4000, and was uniquely created with normal software, by myself James Smith. As I purchased commercial rights from Normal to produce my unique and original video with this software. Commentary is uniquely my own thoughts, feelings, and expressions. Now that I have that out of the way. I do hope your day is doing better than fantastic. Today I want to talk about something very important. And that's the feeling many of us have deep inside. Or have felt for a long time. And it's important to talk about this. Because there are some new people to this channel. And long time subscribers. And to all of you that are a part of this channel's growth. I do say a big thank you to you. Because the more this channel and others like it grows. The more of a chance someone that needs to hear and see these types of videos. Will be able to do so a little bit easier. Because the videos might be recommended more. So forth and so on. You get the idea. Every little bit helps. So I thank you. You know I made this video talking to all of you today. Some of you are alone. You are very alone. Maybe you just got away from a terrible terrible narcissist. But you have no family to be in your corner because most if not all of them are narcissists as well. Maybe you have a couple of good friends. But they are busy with their work. Their families and their lives. And you are alone. And you just sit and think. It seems from the moment you have memory of dealing with people. That someone was always trying to use you or manipulate you to get something. And it seemed like this pattern never stopped. And sadly before we knew anything about narcissism and the mistreatment and evil they do. When we met that new person. That new person in our lives. We thought we struck gold. Think back now with me. That love bombing was some powerful stuff wasn't it? We finally felt like we found someone that loved us. Someone that cared. Someone that we could grow old with. Someone that would have our back as we would have theirs. But it all was a con and a lie. They never loved us. And I even tried to think like some of you probably. That maybe they loved me. But because of their upbringing they didn't know how to have a healthy relationship. Which is another thing that kept me in the relationship as long as I stayed. The other was not wanting to give up on the chance of having the happy times that were had in the love bombing stage. Like most of us right. But this thought about this person and giving them them the benefit of the doubt was just wishful thinking. They never cared. And in fact the moment they met us they were planning to do all of the evil things they did to us. So several years later we get free. But now we are working a job we can't stand and with bosses that micromanage us and treat us horribly. It's like we can't catch a break. They take our ideas for their own. Then they threatened us with a write-up if they deem us to not be performing to their unrealistic levels. When in reality we've given so much of ourselves to help keep the company we work for afloat. We want another job. Or a different career. But we are so worn out. We are burned out. And this isn't a pity thing. Because I'm the first one to say. To keep on going and to push forward. But when you've been used and used and used and used. And you've been fighting to get yourself free from this person or that person. At some point all you want to do is rest. You just want to rest. You think about how great you felt when you first got your new job years ago. Or when you first met the person that you thought was nice but turned out to be a narcissist. You see. When you are happy and excited. You have lots of pleasurable chemicals shooting off in your brain. That make you feel like you can climb the tallest mountain. That's what happy relationships are important. But then when you are mistreated by this person and that person. You go to work and you are micromanaged and mistreated by your boss. You leave work feeling depleted. Tired. Drained. And worn out. But then you are told to just fight through it. Pull yourself up. Take care of business. 
just get another job. Or whatever a great many people may say. But the reality is. It's not that easy. It's just not. And this is coming from someone that fully believes in self-improvement. I do think we should all work to make our lives narcissist-proof the best we can. And part of that is not only having boundaries but having choices of where we are employed. There are some options out there but it might take a bit of hard work and time. But how do you put in that hard work when you have no more energy to give? Well. The answer is it's not easy. But that is why these types of channels are important. Hearing someone that went through or that is going through the pain and sorrow that you are going through this very moment. Gain one small success if you can today. And see what you can do about tomorrow. And if things don't work out tomorrow. Give yourself a few days to regroup and then go for it again. We have to help each other and encourage each other because most of us have no one. We have no one. And people make it sound like it's okay and this and that. But let me tell you what. They put people in prison in rooms by themselves as a form of punishment so the prisoner mentally cracks up. Yes. There are some people out there that thrive in such situations. But the honest truth is most people don't. And when you meet this person and that person and years and years of your life has gone by. And all that has happened throughout these years was just getting used by people. Not developing this part of your life or that part of your life. It's been spent getting used by people and dealing with the fallout once it's all said and done. Well I for one don't want to see that for you anymore. And I don't want to see that for myself either. Because the worst thing in the world is to get free from a narcissist's spouse but then have to go into a job you literally hate every single day. Knowing or feeling rather you don't have much of a choice. It's a terrible terrible feeling. But it's that daily encouragement. It's that daily help that says. Take it step by step. Set a goal. Get your resume updated by the end of the week. Just do 20 minutes worth each day. And at the end of the week hopefully you will have your resume done. And then apply for one new job a week just to start. Don't try to go out and do it all in a day. It's hard for someone that has everything going their way to do it all in a day. It's really hard for someone that is depleted and tired and worn out to do it all in a day. Because truthfully we are talking about your health. Please. Please go see your doctor as well. And if they tell you it's stress. Take it seriously. Do what you can to get out of your job. Do what you can to move if you are wanting to move. Do what you can to get away from the narcissist if you haven't done so yet. Do what you can do to surround yourself with positivity. There is a reason why a lot of the self-help gurus out there tell you to be around positive people. Yes. It's possible a good idea or what not might rub off on you and you can go on to be a huge success. Sure. Possibly. But the real reason I believe why they tell you to be around positive people is because you will feel better. You will have more energy. And if you have more energy you will feel more full of life. And if you feel more full of life you will go out and achieve a lot of great things. Which brings us to the word supply. The narcissist you were dating or married to. They stole a lot of supply from you. Your family members that are narcissists stole a lot of supply from you. And your boss and work. They are stealing the last bit you have left. And you are just a shell of yourself trying to make it through the next day. Extremely tired wanting to sleep as much as you can. And no energy for self-betterment. Again. This is why I want this message of this ambient mistreatment the narcissists do to a great many people to be known. Because there are so so many people suffering in silence and they don't have the energy for self-improvement. They don't have the energy to get out of their terrible job they can't stand. They barely had enough energy to get away from their narcissist ex. It's just one battle after the next. And it just goes on and on and on. But it's my hope. It's my hope. That with encouragement here and other places. That even if it's enough to allow someone to have the energy for one day to complete a positive task. Then I feel like I'm doing my job. You see. 
Narcissists steal our supply. So they grow strong. And we are weak on the floor. This is where we need to start helping each other stand up. Some might need more help than others and that's okay. But when you start to encourage this person. You know. You can change careers. Take that online course and study. You can do it. You know. You can take on the hobby that you were always wanting to do. Bring yourself some success and bring yourself some joy. Even if it's in small small amounts. We have to start somewhere. You know. This is a topic we can talk about forever because it doesn't have a clear answer. Yes. You have to move forward. But everyone is in different spots of their journey and it would be mean and dismissive to pretend like you and you and you and you aren't in pain. Because you are. Heck we all are. We've been used and used and used and used. We've been used so much we feel like used should be our middle name. We don't want to go to work tomorrow but we have to. We just want to laugh. We just want to have some joy. We just want to feel like we are doing something right for the first time in our lives. We want to feel like our choices in the person we would like to date is correct. We would like to enjoy the good times and not be suspicious that they are doing something bad to us behind the scenes. We would love to have a family member to call or to call us with love. And we would like to be appreciated for the work we do at our job and not to be always criticized and mistreated. You are worth a lot. Despite what all of these people may have put into your mind. You are worth more. I just want you to know. I hear you and I feel your pain. You are tired. You are worn out and you are drained. And I have no other words I can say except I understand. I understand. And it's not your fault. Yes. We know about boundaries. And yes we know they are important. And yes they likely could have helped us a great deal. But look at who raised us and taught us to be a walking doormat. That's right parents that are narcissists. So please be patient with yourself. Be patient with yourself. You're going to have days when you feel so run down and others where you feel much better. It's all a part of the process. But please pick one thing. One thing you wish you can change within reason today. And I go back to the job example. And the reason is. A great many people get out of a toxic relationship. But they are left with a toxic job. And their anxiety and stress levels don't improve a lot because they are still being mistreated. They are still unhappy. So if you are stuck with a narcissist. Work on getting out and away from them. Which is something I will be talking about more in the future. But if you are away from the narcissist. Maybe you've been away from them for a decent amount of time. But your job is now the new narcissistic relationship. Make that your new focus. Make it a point to get out. Again. Set goals. A goal to work on your resume. A goal to apply certain places. And a goal to maybe take an online class of some sort. There are tons of free classes. And some that only cost small amounts of money. And when you start building your skill level. And you start hearing back from your resume. You will start to feel like you have some of your energy back again. Because you are now seeing you truly don't need that job you are at. Just like you didn't need your narcissistic ex that was robbing you of your precious life energy. This is a day by day struggle. And it's one we need to help one another out with. With that said. I thank you for watching my content here. And I thank you for being a part of this channel's growth. With that said. I do hope your day is blessed. And until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.